this video is sponsored by Acronis. Today we are back with some of the worst rated items on Best Buy. So we did this video a little while ago and some of the results were quite terrible. But thankfully we've got a whole new batch of items to make fun of and or bully Best Buy into stop selling because people don't like them. If it's got less than a five star review, I don't want it, okay? 4.9 stars or bust. So what is the deal with this? So this is the Hyundai High Tab Plus 10W2. It's a 10.1 inch tablet, quad core processor, three gigs of RAM, Android 13, and it comes with a stylus. How much did I pay for the Hyundai High Tab? This costs $90. Look, a tablet for less than $100 is in a different kind of category. Look at this, it's got Wi-Fi 6. That's probably worth $3 on its own. So this has a rating of, I believe it's like 3.5 stars. It is three flat, and that actually makes it one of our higher rated items. <laughs> Here's the thing. If you are familiar with ratings, especially on Best Buy, anything below a four is very bad. But if you're talking about a three or a two, there are an enormous amount of one star reviews, which at first glance, this doesn't seem that bad. All right, it actually looks decent. Um, it, is that actually, that actually might be metal. And if I take off this, you'll see that the um, the bezels are reasonably sized. It's actually quite small. Now, I don't like the fact that the front-facing camera is kind of offset weirdly. That's not going to be ideal for anything, but that's fine. First impressions for 90 bucks, it's not bad. We do have USB-C, and we also do have a micro SD card slot, so you can expand it there. It does have a pre-applied uh, screen protector, which I will say is quite crappy looking, it looks like just plastic and it feels bad, but whatever, I'll take it. Earbuds in the box! Wow. All right! Ooh, oh, it's kind of slow too. Oh my goodness, it's slow. Oh no. I don't think I've ever seen a device take this long to try to get through like the initial setup. Oh, look at this! Android setup isn't responding, close the app. It literally has hung so much that it is frozen. This is the setup screen! Bro! Look at the frame rate. Look at, look at how far that's behind my finger. Especially when you pull up the little entertainment space. It literally, the ad is broken. Ah! What frame rate is this? Oh, okay, now we're getting a little something. I'm gonna be very clear with this. This tablet, I fully understand why it is a three star. I'm gonna give this a 1.5 star. It would be a solid like four stars if it was not atrociously slow and crashed during setup and had software that was designed for a tablet, not a phone. A huge thank you to the sponsor of this video, Acronis. Acronis Cyber Protect Home Office provides complete protection for your data and digital life. It's the only personal solution with a unique integration of cybersecurity and backup technologies. Safeguard your sensitive data against all modern threats like cutting edge cyber attacks, accidental deletion, disk failure, or device loss. Sure, you could get a separate service that backs up your data or protects against ransomware or another antivirus, but Acronis does it all. It saves you time, money, and it's dead simple to manage everything from a single interface. Back up your data to the cloud so you can access it from just about anywhere. As long as you use Acronis, you have guaranteed data recovery, a must for any student, working professional, or anyone who has precious data they need to protect which should be everyone. Use the code AUSTIN2023 for a 40% discount, which can be used for all home office products. And thank you again to Acronis for sponsoring this video. This next item I am particularly excited about. These are the Dyson Zone headphones. Yes, my friend. I've been waiting to get my hands on these for a while, but I didn't want to pay full price. So I bought them from Best Buy, which they normally retail for $950. You probably seen these. They were everywhere all over the internet a few months ago. However, on Best Buy, I got a deal. I just had to sign up for the $50 a year membership and I got $200 off. So these are only $750. Now I will say these have a very interesting selection of reviews. Uh, it actually has a 3.5 star rating. The best out of all of the items so far, but it is exclusively people who bought this and are trying to justify it or people who are calling it really dumb because it's kind of dumb. What they've got here is a pair of noise canceling headphones that also has, it's not quite a mask, but it is like an air purifier. And then we've got the big, oh my God. Yo. This is huge. I'm Elmo Bay. <laughs> this is a difficult product to review if I'm honest, because like, okay, my initial thought with this is that this feels very like lightweight. 
Um, but also, I think it's relatively well built, and I'm assuming this thing's gonna be really heavy. And then we've got the headphones themselves, which, oh my goodness, I will say, they look phenomenal. On my ears, it sounds like I'm wearing something like a small motor. Like, it's actually not egregious. There's a number of kind of interesting parts of the app. Um, so it tells me the uh, NO2, nitrous oxide. Wait, is this the NOS? Nitrogen dioxide. Nitrogen dioxide. I'd say the noise canceling is fine. Uh, probably not quite as good as like AirPods Max or the Sony 1000X Mark V's, but like, fine enough. It feels like this is 80% air purifier that just happened to have some pretty decent active noise cancellation and some, I would say, mediocre sound quality. It's not bad, it's not offensive, it's totally fine. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to, uh, I have my isolation turned on, so I'm protecting my ears. Now it's time to protect my face. So I will say my favorite part of these headphones, bar none, is how nice it is to just attach this. Like, that's, that's cool. You kind of look like a kinky Master Chief. <laughs> Master Cheeks? Somebody. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, uh. Oh, I hear them. It's spinning up. So at least it can detect that I'm going for a little jog right now. Yeah, but you sound like a tool right now. Not only with your voice, but we can hear those fans. Like, you can they're hear loud. The fans even from over they here. are loud. So while this is not going to be a thorough test, we're going to see if I can smell any of the various fragrances, wafts, and flatulence that we have over on this part of the table. I'm smelling HEPA filter right now. All right, it is literally right up next to you. Mm, yeah, I smell something like pepperminty or something. Yep, that is, uh, yep, you got it. Oh yeah, I definitely, oh, that one is actually quite strong. I don't know what that is, like, like, like sandalwood or birch or something. Cinnamon. But, oh, but it, ha it, ha it, ha it has like, I mean, it does have like a little bit of a woody kind of okay. smell to it. Okay, so this next one's gonna be a little more deliberate because it's a spray. Yeah, spray the back of my head. Yeah. It's cold. <laughs> oh, that smells, oh my God, that's really strong. That's like uh, cologne, right? Yeah. Woo! Dude, yeah, this is not. <laughs> Actually, you know what, it is doing something, but you know what it is? I smell it less with it off. I almost feel like it's like sucking it in and like filtering it straight through. It, which makes sense, because you are kind of focusing the air oh when... I, it is like all up in here right now. Yeah. Do you know, they don't say it's gonna remove all smells. It's it's probably cutting down some. And now we're up to 0 0.6 NOx. Not okay, okay, okay. Nos. But... I'll give the Dyson one star. Honestly, it's egregiously priced and a dumb idea and no one should buy it. Oh, wow, that's really loud. Well, the HEPA filter is not going to do anything if it's just laying on the ground. These next items are ones I'm very familiar with. The Sony Link Buds. Not to be confused with the Link Buds S, some of my personal favorite headphones. No, these are the vanilla Link Buds. You will see are a little bit of a different design than traditional headphones because there's a hole in the middle of them. So instead of a transparency mode, how about transparency all the time? Because this hole goes straight to your ear hole. So what makes these unique? is that unlike some of the other items on this list, while it is only a 3.5 star, there are over 600 reviews. A lot of these other things have like 10 reviews, 20 reviews, 50 reviews. A lot of people have purchased these Link Buds. I fully understand with this one, you're gonna immediately give it a one star review if the headphones don't fit. Like that's just a straight up thing. You can't change the ear tips or anything like that. So let's try the actual sound quality. If I remember right, these bleed quite heavily for earbuds. These headphones don't sound bad but without a proper seal, the bass response is quite low. They're almost more akin to listening to like speakers than headphones, if that makes sense, because you're not isolated in the same way that you are with headphones. Like if I'm speaking to you right now, I don't need a transparency mode or whatever. It just sounds like I don't have anything in my ears, but when you actually have the music pumping, it actually does drown out the majority of the outside noise. You're not gonna wanna take these on a plane, but for like regular everyday use, they're Fine. It's definitely a unique, interesting design, but even at $130, which is less than they used to be, I don't think I can recommend these to anyone, really. Uh, Link Buds, I'll give them three stars, mostly because it's vaguely usable. Up next, we have a very strange one. This is the EXO by Scuff. Now, you likely know Scuff from making custom controllers, but this is a pillow. Well, oh, no wait, oh, I, I can, this is not for your back. Look, 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 look at it. Look at this, look at this. 
It's on your back. It's meant for your. It's meant legs? for your front. Who sits on a chair like this? Wait, hold on a second. What am I looking at here? Is this inflatable? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that makes it worse. Wait, for $40? They and they couldn't even give, give you, you free oh. air? I'm gonna have to blow the hell out of the. Uh, <laughs> that's what I mean. Did you get in there? <laughs> Maximum blowing. Mm, wow, okay. That's. <clears throat> All right. I thought you said no to the OnlyFans. <laughs> Well, no, only blows. No, Jeez, that doesn't no, work. That's... Only, only, no, no, okay. I will say the blowing procedure was not too difficult. It actually blew off very fast considering um, that it's a quite large pillow. Okay, I will say, like, this is nice to hold my phone with. Like, I assume it's just a controller, that's like, it's the, not. Yeah, that's kind of the point. But also, like, what's the difference between that height versus something like this, you know, like, this is much more comfortable. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's that's kind of the thing, right? That I I hate like air inflatable stuff, like yeah. neck pillows, like for when you're on a plane and stuff. Because mm -hmm. yeah, like you can save space and it's easier to carry. But this is like this is not comfy. This gets a rating of two stars. It's not terrible, but a pillow exists and it's probably fine, even though it might not look as cool. Next up, we have a particularly strange item. This is a Polaroid streaming cam which you would think, oh, for Twitch streams? No, 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 it's a waterproof action camera, but it's for streaming. I don't think that's the way you're supposed to use that word. So it's waterproof. Uh, they should probably say water resistance, but whatever. 4K video. Wait, 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 wait. The box literally is lying. The box says 4K video, and it says full HD right here. Wow, this looks like a Fisher Price toy. Are you kidding me? Also, it's so big. Why is it this big? It's like a kid's toy. It's like wow. double the size of a GoPro. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna come back after it charges for a little bit, but I don't have high hopes. This next item has a bit of a backstory. So this is a Microsoft authorized refurbisher of what appears to be a Dell Optiplex 3020. Are you familiar with cyber power? Wait, really? Yeah, like so this, this, this is goes from them. Supposedly this is refurbished by CyberPower. This thing is super strange to me. Like on the surface, it doesn't seem like anything that unusual, but what are CyberPower doing? Like, unless maybe I've missed something and they're actually like secretly PC refurbishers this whole time. No, no, hold on. Everything you need to get started, Joy Systems. That's that CyberPower at all. Wait, wait, wait. Why is this branded CyberPower? That's my main question. Now. This only has two star reviews. I, I dove into it quite a bit. So almost all the reviews thought that they were getting a gaming PC. Okay. But, then they ended, yeah. then, but they ended up with an Optiplex. And I might have an answer as to why. So I think the photo in which they used used to be this. Oh! So we'll I show that on camera. I, I think they used, so I think they used to use this photo for the listing but then everyone was like, this is not a gaming PC. I got a crappy Optiplex, like what is going on? So maybe CyberPower also owns this Joy Systems. So with a Core i5-4570, I'm gonna say this is probably somewhere in the nine, maybe 10 year old range. Okay, so it's quite scuffed on the top. So definitely something got it pretty good there, but I mean, it's refurbished, that's so not crazy. Oh, you know what it is? I know what they did. If you look up top here, I've seen this before. So it's almost like a skin. So this is the actual finish underneath. And then they put like an almost identical skin over the top of it. Now, to be fair, I actually don't have a problem with that. Oh, actually, here's something interesting. It specifically actually says best, wait. Wait, the date on this says August 23rd? Did they literally rebuild this just for me? So it does have eight gigabytes of KingFast DDR3. So that's definitely something that's ultra cheap for them to throw in here. Heatsink doesn't have any dust on it. 80 plus gold power supply. It's got the DVD drive. It does have an actual SSD. So it is a KingFast SSD. So it might only be 500 gigs, but at least it's not like a spending hard drive. All right, we are into Windows 10. This is a perfectly fine office system that will last for a while and do basic sort of simple things. 200 bucks, I think, is maybe a touch expensive for this. Like, I feel like it's one of those things where you could probably find one yourself for 
50, 60 bucks and you know, spend 20 bucks on parts, whatever. Like it's not anything crazy, but it does have a full proper copy of Windows. It's got the Microsoft authorized stick, which probably costs some money and they skinned it. So you don't need to go to dbrand and ask for them to make a Dell Optiplex 4570 skin. This next item definitely got my attention for one particular reason. This is a mouse pad. Now you might look at this and go, hmm, that's a strange package for mouse pad. Well, it's not just any mouse pad because it's a glass pad. It's a glass mouse pad, a glass pad, as some might call it. Now, if this looks familiar to you, that's because there's another glass mouse pad out there made by Razer, which is like 120 bucks. But this, well, normally it's 80 bucks, but I got it for 45 bucks on sale with very poor reviews. Now, I. I think I have an idea on why the reviews are bad, but I'll let you be the judge of if I uh, <clears throat> know what I'm talking about because uh, I believe there's a little bit of a design flaw with this particular one. They advertise this as a desk pad, but um, well, uh, I think there's a little problem with that. So I'm gonna set this down to protect my desk, of course. So that's a piece of glass. Put my keyboard on it, no problem, and my mouse, and well, um, you know this little sensor on the bottom of the mouse? That's usually meant to track things, but on glass, <laughs> it doesn't show up at all. So mousing on the table, <laughs> mousing on the glass. The key difference between this and the Razer model is that the Razer is frosted, which means there's actually something for your sensor to grab onto. Now mind you, this is a very cheap mouse, and I know that I think Logitech, some of their high-end mice have like a sensor they can actually track on clear glass, but I mean, it only like works a little bit. This other gaming mouse I've got doesn't work. So unless you've got a Logitech mouse, I don't think this makes sense. Now you could use this if you just want something on your desk and maybe you have like a mouse pad or your mouse off to the side, but tons of people are buying this thinking it's like the Razer version. Okay, give me, g g give me the glass. Go get your dry erase marker. Wow, inspiring. I'm ready to go and beat their balls. <laughs> Excuse me? Beat them with the balls. Th that, Beat the other team when, with the balls. With, that's not how football works. So I have charged up my Polaroid and it looks real bad. So this is what the Polaroid looks like in 4K. If my hunch is correct, while this might be 4K, it's gonna look like 720 and run it like Garbo Town resolution. And especially frame rate. I bet this looks super choppy. But what matters is capturing the action, right? And the only action I need is What floats, oh. it just keeps floating away. The Do frame rate, the frame rate doesn't look particularly good. Yeah. I'll say, this might not be the most riveting footage I've ever captured. Technically it works. I don't know how long I would trust it for and clearly the, the quality is really pretty garbage. But at least the reviews that said that it immediately died, maybe they didn't close this little flap. So there is a flap to get at the micro SD as well as the USB. And I think that if you don't have that sealed, you probably are gonna have some issues. But I mean, I just sealed it up the way you normally would and it does seem to still be functioning. I still think you should buy this Polaroid, but maybe it's not as bad as the reviews make it seem. Or maybe I just got lucky and I got the 4K version instead of the 1080p one that it says on the box. This next item is something that's quite near and dear to my heart. This is a refurbished item from Geek Squad. This is a refurbished Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. Oh yeah. So at $550, it is slightly less expensive than a new Galaxy Z Flip 3, which was $1,000 a couple years ago. I'm a little afraid, because while the Z Flip 3 is a pretty decent phone, they were still working on hinges and screens and protectors and stuff. So I'm a little nervous. So it is the black one. Um, oh, there's a giant scratch immediately on the cover display, like a mega scratch. Yeah, so I don't know why there's no screen protector on it. I'm surprised. Hinge is okay. It's definitely a little loose. So the thing is, every generation of the Z Flip, Samsung have kind of tweaked the way that they um, work on the hinge. So the older Z Flips were a little less uh, firm and every folding phone, no matter what it is, the hinge evolves over time. So it's a little bit firmer at the beginning and after you know, a few months or a year or two, it loosens up a little bit. That hinge feels like it's in good shape. Oh no, it's burned in. Oh my God. Oh really? Burned. Oh it's shoot. Burned in. You can literally see it right here. So if you look right here, do you see that line? 
So that's, someone's been watching YouTube, right? You can see like this top part is the actual like YouTube window and this is where you would have all like your UI. Can you see that line right there? No wonder this has a two star review on Best Buy. Let me try everything. Make sure that nothing else is broken. So camera, turn on the outer display. The outer display does function. Yeah, so cameras are functioning. So as far as I can tell, the only real issues are the quite badly burned in display and the scratch on the outside. Moral of the story, when you see bad reviews, run. And Best Buy, please stop refurbishing these things and selling them for these prices when you're just selling burned in screens and scratched displays. What's the Austin rating? 0.0, .0 out of 10. And of course, huge thank you to Acronis for sponsoring today's video.